They still probably would, but it, it's hard to look at it from that point of view. Brownie. Any, literally any animal, you can name it, would do a better job as president as Trump because at least they would do nothing. It's hard to fuck up if you do nothing at all. Trump fucks up even the, the easy things. Halloween. He fucks up Halloween. Putting candy on the head of a trick-or-treater. Seriously. That was probably the first time he ever gave away candy on Halloween. And that was the third year of his presidency. Or maybe closing an umbrella. Couldn't manage that. Fucks up burning cereal. Because he pours the milk on first. On the most heinous crime that Trump does. Why not? The most heinous crime of all is eating steak well done. Good God. This is the most disgusting thing you could do to a steak. We could have stolen their red bar, probably. Halloween, Zach, I'd love that. Darius, president of Noxus. I don't think he is. I think he's the the general. Is he either like the lead general and it's uh, Swain that's the leader? I really don't remember. It's hard to, to get all the lore squared away because it seems to change all the time. So when am I going to play Swain? Good question. I haven't played Swain in a long time. I only ever really played Swain when I was forced to ADC. But he's going to miss that one and that one. Because that he started double ADC. It's a little early to war, but I want to just let this push back now. Because now it's a slow push towards me. And until he's three, he's not really that dangerous. Because the best he can do is hook into W. Hook into auto W, which is good. Probably not going to be able to get those. Oh, okay. got the experience for that, I think. But yeah, now the, the lane's pushing towards me. I got... Like, this, there's a reason why I set this up to push towards me. So that I wouldn't need to worry about ganks at this point. Because today I've had the uh, horribly negative experience of constantly getting ganked. So I'm just going to assume that the Nunu is going to sit in my lane for a bit. If Nunu were coming, that probably would have been death for me. Thank goodness he was not. I'm happy that he's that he's playing so passive. This is how you lose a lane as Darius into Urgot. You make no active moves. You play passive. You let him farm. You let him freeze. Oh, I'm not getting to freeze. Our jungler showed bot side, so I'm on the weak side of the map right now. There's no way I can actually hold a freeze into that. What? No. Couldn't get the shotgun off. Yeah, got that one at least. That one's going to be slow pushing unless he does something. Let's see if he does. Let's try and bait a Q out of him. That would get the lane pushing towards me. There we go. Now it's... Ah, fuck. He only hit the one minion. It's interesting. I have a CS lead. Good. It ain't much of a CS lead, but it's there. So far, so good. I'm farming really well. 
He's not playing aggro. This is the strongest point in the game from three from levels three through nine. He should have a devastating advantage. Like, if he tries to fight me, I should just straight up lose. But he's not. Ah! Baited! Perfect. With my E down, I figured he'd try and do that. A smart Darius, that's what I would expect, and this might be a smart Darius. Then again, he's playing very passive, so maybe he's not. should slowly push back towards me here in a second. Okay, I took almost no damage. And it's pushing again. Like, that's the key thing. If he uses his Q on me, and I get to E away, then I'm in good shape. Because it means the wave will now push towards me. There's no doubt. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. He's pushing hard. Good. This is perfect. This is just what I want. Because we're even in farm, but there's a... Like, a big wave heading towards me, so that means he's failing at CS, and I'm... Like, he's he's the one shoving into me, and I'm getting the CS advantage out of it. This is not how it's supposed to work. I was farming so well. I missed the last two. Actually, I should shove this out before I leave. I can. I might be able to. I got shotguns. Okay. Cool. This is very clean so far. My team's not feeding. Holy crap. You know, why not? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a distinct disadvantage of no potions, but I feel like this is a good option for right now for sustain and defense. Fancy skin, you got it free from a chest. Nice. How do I like my steak? Rare. As rare as I feel safe to get, essentially. A good enough restaurant, I'll tell them, slap the cow and bring it out. Like, that's my feeling. I love that he keeps shoving like this. Because, again, he's not getting an advantage out of it. Just using my W to heal a bit. The lane is slightly frozen. Did he just TP bot side? Fuck. Damn, that's unfortunate. They they both died. We're not gonna get much done. Please tell me the Zed's not gonna die too. You just saw the Darius, man. How do you die to him like that? I'm not going to get much. I'll get a plate. This is not This is nowhere near worth. Their team just picked up three kills. Either the Darius knows he's here. This is really weird that the Darius... He mu oh, there he is. He's playing so cautiously. This is one of the most passive Dariuses I have ever seen. It's not a good look for you, man. That teleport was good, though. Like, he's, he's deciding not to fight me in the lane. 
kind of screwed up. I might be dead. But I'm okay. I needed to land that. Cool. He's going to miss some of those. If he had his flash, he potentially could have killed me there because I missed my E. I really needed that to land. Because pre-9, I really can't fight him if the E misses. Hell, post-9, I can't either. Unless I'm fat, which I'm currently not. Yeah, right now he's got a slight advantage, I'd say. Actually, we're about even. He's up an assist. Gold-wise, I think we're otherwise even. Um, really should get boots. But it's nice to have 20% uh, CDR. It's about to be 30%. But reach level 10. Never mind. Might be a little while longer. Yeah, I'm very surprised he didn't go for it. I feel like he could have killed me there. That mistake was significant. The one I just made. A good Darius would have capitalized. There it is, now nine. Herald. At least it's pushing towards me currently. Okay, the noon is going mid. Ah, oh, crap! I W too early. Or, excuse me, I E too early, so his hook actually interrupted my dash. That's the problem. Like, he has all the advantages when it comes to CC in, the, in this, uh, fight. At the same time, if I actually can land my E on him, I can kill him. Yeah, he's dead. It's easy as that. I'm 9, I landed my E. He's dead. Because he couldn't get the heal off. He's too slow. Man, this Darius is misplaying pretty badly. Like, I shouldn't really be winning right now. He should have killed me earlier. Instead, not only do I kill him in the 1v1, I might just take the turret. Because his teleport's down. He burned it earlier. And I'm not going to burn mine now. My ult's down. There's no point. Yeah, look at that. I got two kills and then and then some on that one. Now I've got enough for Death Stance. He's in big trouble. That was such a huge swing in power for me. Not just because I hit 9, but, I mean, getting more than 2 kills worth of gold is, is huge. I got Death Stance and Boots. Four plates, man, that is awesome. For once, I'm having a good lane. For twice. I think I did have two good lanes today. Three, actually. The Zag game, I had a great lane. It was what happened after the laning phase that things went to shit. Yep, level 9 Mona activated. Easy kill time. Aww. Damn, my shotgun's hit hard now. Well, with my ult up and rank 2, he can't fight me. Not 1v1. Uh, why should I assume he'd be 1v1? Got a shotgun off. So he went conquering resolve. Okay, good. I see the new new now. No pink ward. Is there one in here? Nope. Okay. Alright, well now that I know where the new new is, I can look for some... You're just dead. Nope, you're already dead. 
Sorry, friend, you're already dead. The advantage I have now is massive. Absolutely massive. And he flashed, too. Yeah, I can. Now I can take any fight I want against him. He could do everything perfectly and still lose. The only thing he can do to not die now is to hook my. That's that's it. Just give up the turret. I already got top. Is that red buff coming up? I can see, huh? Taking this turret. Holy shit, I'm getting two turrets off of this. Hi there. Yeah, you don't want to fight me. Oops, I just got rid of my escape route. His hook just gave the asshole a free in. I would have killed him otherwise. He would have almost immediately died after the hook. Because the hook actually put me in a position where I had two shotguns facing him. He would have almost instantly died from that. He got the kill too. Dang. Like I said, I could take almost any fight into him. I didn't say anything about taking a fight against two people. It's definitely a tabby game. The the noon is their only magic damage. Hmm? Hmm? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god no. I just got chain CC'd forever. And yeah, so his ult was up again, wasn't it? That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Yasuo used his last, uh, he used his ult here. I, I died, I revived, I teleported in, his ult is up again. Why does that ability have no cooldown? Seriously, why does that ability have no cooldown? Oh, so I clearly went the wrong direction. The Asso, I had no ability to actually catch him there, even with uh, Righteous Glory. Yeah, this is such a fucked up champ. His ult has no cooldown, and his dashes make it so that I can't chase him with Righteous Glory. He's got too much mobility. Oh, no, I just killed himself. Oh, he didn't kill himself, huh? Interesting. Oh, good, Zai. That's really good. Zai's got an IE. And Zai is 5 2. Good. I'm taking the rest. Don't worry, I'm doing this to everybody. I'm also doing it to their jungle. She's alone. Coming through. Yeah, I'm afraid you're already dead. You're already dead. That's never gonna work. Don't, don't go alone. Take a friend. It's dangerous out here. Bring a friend. See, Soraka, there's your friend. Yeah, there's no escaping an Urgot with Ghost and Glory. It's impossible. Getting too cocky, yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, Echo. <laughs> Four of them. Uh. I need an executioner. Their team has a lot of healing. And Bramble isn't going to be good enough against the kind of healing they have. I don't have teleport. I should go top. Yeah, when I walked into the jungle to try and explore this area, I figured maybe I'd see Nunu, maybe I'd see Sorok. I wasn't expecting to see literally their entire team. Good Zed ult, but oh wow. Is he gonna get out? He was ignited. Good hook. Good silence. And the Darius is just blindly splitting and taking objectives. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Darius is just getting free objectives. There's no winning. You cannot beat me! You may take the turret, but you will not win. Unfortunately, this is just... Uh, I don't even know what the hell my team's doing. It was a 4v4 and they got massacred. They got massacred when we have the uh, winning team at the time. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Good. They got Baron and now they almost don't have it. We should be able to get multiple turrets off of that, but... The Darius got two turrets in that entire debacle. Yeah, they can't defend this at all. This is actually a negative Baron play for them now. I mean, again, they still got the two turrets, so they're still positive overall. I'm gonna go steal some more of Echo's jungle. Hmm? Oh, never mind. I guess I'm taking the wave. I was gonna steal his jungle, but if the Zaya doesn't want this, I'll take it. I guess, Echo, your jungle is spared for now. Should one true Zach. In a good way. I like that. Now, I can't one-trick Zack in his current state. I can play him a lot, and I am. But I can't one-trick him right now. Of course, I missed the, the brush. Ooh. I may have missed the brush, but the Darius, he looks hungry. Let's see if we can catch him in this fevered state. So he's got two items. I've got nearly three. He's level 14. I'm level 15. I know your team isn't nearby. I see three of them. Come on, Darius, walk up. Come on, walk up. Come on, walk up! Damn it. He's playing the coward's game and it's working. Uh oh. Oh no, he's dead. There's nothing I can do to save him now unless he gets over the wall. He got over the wall.
Not the one I wanted to hit! Not the one I wanted to hit! Ah! Damn it! He was not the one I wanted to hit there! Ah! Oh my god, and there's Zaya's just dumpstering our team. Ah! Not the one I wanted to hit! So fucking tanky, I couldn't kill him fast enough. Look at this stupid shit here. Uh. But yes, I recently learned that apparently if I see true damage like this on champions that don't ordinarily do true damage, they're not actually doing true damage. It's my death's dance. Because for some reason... For some reason, this damage, the tr like, it doesn't count the damage that you took as the damage you're taking. Essentially, the, the death stance is taking it for it. Um, hold on, let me focus here. Getting thorn mail too. Although, actually, I should get randuins. This was a mistake. I should go for randuins next. I still can. It's just, it doesn't really make sense for me to get randuins. Actually, yes, it does. Never mind. I'm not necessarily going to shoot everyone, so if they're hitting me, at least they're losing their healing, too. But yeah, we got a significant comp issue. Their Darius may be weak, but the rest of his team is very strong. Thank goodness for the lantern. They're not coming for me. Thank goodness. They didn't immediately rotate. But unfortunately, no one on my team is taking okay, it's that is. I still have teleport, so I can join the team. But right now, the, the map is completely in the dark. This is the worst situation to be in as a team, where we've got no ability to get vision without risking ourselves. That's very helpful information. Inferno's probably gone, to be honest. Three seconds. Oh. Hmm. I guess not. Yeah, it's gone. Our jungler wasn't even nearby. My teleport's ready. I'm just not sure I can really trust my team not to die before the teleport finishes. Darius managed to run down. Wait, what the fuck was that hook? At least Echo's still alive. But that teleport was bad. I should have teleported to this ward. And yeah, the Echo made no attempt to actually try and steal it. I'm not sure he could have, but... My teleport timing had to be at that point, or they were just going to take the Baron. I was really hoping that the team was just close enough to come in and at least provide some sort of something. 
Instead, their team threw everything they had at me, and I, I had no chance. Ugh, oh, fuck. That's Baron number two for them. The Echo just was in no position to help. Like, I figured that the Echo, the moment the Nunu showed up, would come over here and prepare to jump over the wall. In that case, he could have potentially done something once my teleport had start. Once my teleport starts hit. base. <sighs> yep, it's... Wow! Seriously? Their Kaisa's that fed? And RZ is a capable assassin. Our Z is strong, but unfortunately, a strong Z doesn't provide as much for a team. Other than killing a single target. Which he did do. It's just not enough. It's crazy how long Ladarius was actually able to survive given the circumstances. He was able to get off, what was that? Three, four cues? Healing cues at that. Damn, now I don't have teleport. At least I've got more tank than he does. Barely. That's the thing, he needs to actually get some magic resistance, I really don't. I'm sure he doesn't have any backup. Yeah, he's leaving. We need... Fuck, we got no vision again. Dragon is a complete dark zone. What is this fiesta? Yeah. Funny thing is the scores are even, but we're down in turrets and we're down in dragons and they've gotten two barons. So kills wise, the teams are even. It's actually kind of sad to me that the Darius has a better looking score than me, even though I'm definitely stronger than him. That was a terrible flash. That was a terrible flash. That was an awful flash. He needed to wait till after Zed had finished his ult. Thank you, Zed. 
I think we got a bit of an issue, though. The Zed has way too many of our team's kills. It would be much better on the Zaya. Hmm. I don't want Mortal Reminder right now. But that's what we're getting. Just cut through this asshole. I think I might just sell this and go for Cleaver, to be honest. He's really tanky. I want to be able to kill him myself. This is going to help, but... Cleaver is a... Oh, God, can we even... Okay, good, they're not doing it. I guess they don't feel so brazen with Darius dead. Shit, he's got her. Kill him. No, kill him. Die. Baron time. Did we just win? Yeah, he's right, we can end. Mm, no minion wave. We still might be able to end. At least we'll get an inhibitor. I feel like we could have just gone for Baron and then... Whoa. It's scary. It's at least an inhib, probably more. That was a massacre. Once Zaya went down, excuse me, once the Kaizo went down, that fight was over for them. Mm. I don't think we can. Being too greedy. No. Jesus, I can't. I can't even. We needed to back away once we got the inhib. I got teleport, but nobody dropped a ward. I feel like it would have been so smart had we just taken the inhibitor and gone and grabbed the Baron. Now they might get the Baron and this this could be awful. Oh, unless the Echo feels like he can go for it. I don't think he can. Oh! The steal! Hero. <laughs> oh man, let's go. And I can almost afford to buy this, and yet I really want to get Cleaver. I feel like I actually should. I've already got heal reduction. Let's go Cleaver. Sing Echo God, that is exactly what he is. It's actually already gone. Nunu's not in position. It's already gone. Nice. Oh, big fear! That's it. That's game. That is game. Oh, and the Zed's ending the game, too. By the way, we just won a 4v5. Drop a ward. Or end the game. That works, too. Wow! Wow, what a fiesta! What a fiesta! We, by all accounts, should have lost that game. Their team had better scaling. They had the Yasuo and they had the Kaiza. While we did have good scaling in the Zaya, the Echo, and and partially Urgot, we had and and, and Thresh is a great team fighter. Like we had a decent team composition, but 
Theirs, I feel like, was better. They had a stronger front line, I feel. The Darius obviously wasn't that strong, but he was tanky. He did eventually get all his items, so he was tough to kill. Um, he may not have killed anybody. Well, actually, he did kill a few people, but he wasn't killing anybody in the fights. He just wasn't getting anything done. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, I have to give it to the Zed, because the Zed is the reason why we survived long enough to turn that game. And he also ended the game, so <laughs> gotta honor him for that. Damn. Wild game, man. Really a wild game. The end, though, at the very end, when when we were taking the, the Elder and the Nunu was still farming in the mid lane, I mean, that was it. At that point, it became infinitely obvious we were taking the Elder. And there was nothing they could do to stop it because the Nunu was simply too far away. We do too much damage at this point in the game. And when he arrived into the Threshook and my glory, Ah, oh, it was huge. And the fact that my ult missed him and hit the Soraka instead was one of the most beautiful elements of sweet, sweet luck. Because that's what that was. I was not aiming. I was aiming at the Nunu. I was not aiming at the Soraka. I was aiming at the person I hit. The fact that it missed him and hit the Soraka meant that I insta jibbed her. Because she was already within execute range when it hit her. And the fear I got off of that ended the fight. The Asuo was low. I think the the there was somebody out the was it the Darius? Darius wasn't low, but like none of it mattered. Once the fear hit, the fight was over. And the best part was Zed was taking their Nexus the entire time. And since they initiated that fight, and their Kaiser bailed to try and deal with the Zed, they couldn't win the fight either. So they were going to lose the fight. Not only because we took Elder, but because they were 4v4 when we had Elder and they were running into a bad situation. And the Zed just took the Nexus. He did no damage with Cleaver alone. Wow! <laughs> this is my damage to the tanks, by the way. That was all damage I dealt to tanks. Not entirely. But, like... I, I feel like at least half of this damage was just me on the Darius. Because he was tough to kill towards the end. He had three ar or two armor items? How many armor items did he have? He only actually had two armor items in Tabby, so never mind. And one of them's Glory. Glory really doesn't provide that much armor. Glory only provides 30 armor. Something to keep in mind about this item is that you do not buy it for the armor. The armor it gives is noticeable, sure, but it's not big. You buy things like this for the armor. This is where you get the big armor. This is a, this is almost twice, excuse me, this is more than twice as much armor as Righteous Glory. And they cost almost the same, so... The money you're spending on Glory, you're spending it on the active. And I guess the mod. Well, this one also has a decent active. Hmm. But yeah, I am a bit shocked at just how much damage I did. I'm also shocked at how much damage the Zaya did. I'm not surprised at all about the Kaisa. She was their damage dealer. She was their only damage dealer. The Yasuo, oddly enough, he wasn't strong for his damage. He was strong for his CC. Because there were several different ways that he was able to initiate in fights with that ult. Most of the time, that was one. it was only one target. And towards the end, that's not good enough. He needs to get two or three man ults minimum. Three man ults being ideal, but towards the end, all I really saw were one, maybe two man ults. It's just not good enough. And the Darius, as much as he was tanking damage, he wasn't. He was just not doing anything else. Yeah, see, look how much damage he absorbed. Look how much damage the Nunu absorbed, and look how much damage I absorbed. Like. I didn't build as much tank, nor am I as tanky as Nunu yet. I almost absorbed as much damage as him. And the Darius built as much tank as I did, but I still managed to absorb more damage than him, and all at the same time while doing a lot more damage. Also, look at the healing. Look at the healing. Uh, look at the healing. Oh. What? No. Oh. Oh. Of course, Soraka would heal better than me. 
Kind of surprised at the new year. I'm guessing it's Smite healing that it's counting. In Echo's case, I wonder if it counts as ultimate. Or whether this is also Smite healing. Nuno also has his consume and stuff. 